Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we're playing Planet S, which is a free game on Steam and one of the coolest free games I've ever come across. The world is randomly generated, so let me generate one and we'll right away try and colonize the sun. Oh wait, no, it's daytime. All right, I'll come back later. Look at this for a planet. I'm gonna go there immediately. It's in between two other planets that look pretty decent. So here we go. You can see the green dot on the map following me. Go away. There's plenty of other planets. Go out to this useless husk in the middle of nowhere. It suits you. Okay, we're gonna colonize this planet immediately. Oh, I can rename my ship. All right, let's uh, call it Destroyed Wreck. That way, if they see it, they'll think it's a destroyed wreck, but it's actually me, and then I'll kill them. I'm just gonna skip through this tutorial. I know the gist of what I'm doing. That's fine. <laughs> you have advanced to the second population tier. Uh, yeah, sure I have. Okay, get rid of that. How's Green doing? Oh my god, Green has already started building. Look at this. Here's a full-on town going already. Okay, we can't have this. How do I threaten them? Uh, start a proposal. Uh, <laughs> go to war with green and I'll give you like 2,000. <laughs> Will that do it? They accept it. Oh, well, that was easy. Okay, great. <laughs> Hopefully they can come over here relatively soon and deal with him. Okay, we're dropping a city center here and then we're going to put down some workers. Why did I have to build on the nighttime side of the planet? I can't see anything. I'll immediately just start harvesting as much clay as possible. I'll be the clay guy. If anyone in the galaxy wants clay, they'll come to me. Oh, sorry. I built too many houses. I need the materials. <laughs> I just destroy their house immediately. I don't know why they sent me to colonize. Like, I can't even handle myself on Earth. Why would you send me out there? I don't like that my neighbor is more advanced than me. Everyone on my planet is going to be looking over at him. Oh, there's some clay on the daytime part of the planet. I think I'll make a city on either side. That way I can always work at daytime. I'm a genius. Oh, time to put on my headphones, by the way. Um, no comments, please. I'm only accepting extremely positive feedback regarding these. So you can say I look pretty if you want. What do my people want? They want booze and clothing. Right now I just have a load of naked people. <laughs> I arrive to the planet and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot to pack our clothes. I'm so sorry. <gasps> They're sending a bag of money from Earth to me. Excellent. Oh, and it's in the form of a sponsor. Thank you to Pico for sponsoring today's video. The Pico 4 VR headset is a new and well-balanced designed VR headset. The balanced design means the weight is evenly distributed between the front and the back, with the high capacity battery being at the rear of the headset, which is really nice. You don't feel like you got a brick strapped to your eyes. There's also a great selection of games and apps. Playing games standalone on the Pico is also super easy. You just pick what you want to play in your set. And for me personally, it's just important that as the headset is kind of ready to go. I, I just can't stand things that need like a ton of setup. It's just not in my personality. At the moment, Pico 4 offers a price drop plus free games with their Black Friday promotion. Offer is live and valid from November 24th to November 27th, 2023. You can click the link in the description to learn more about that. And just in general, if you're in the market for a VR headset, it's definitely worth checking out. So click that link if you're interested. Thank you very much to Pico for the sponsor. I truly appreciate it. As I said, if you're looking for for a VR headset, I thoroughly recommend checking it out. Link in the description, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <gasps> They're sending a bag of money from Earth to me. Excellent. Wait, no, it's a neutral trader. Oh, and he's heading to the green planet. Why do I have to have neighbors that are more successful than me? That's it. I'm going to build a bigger clay depository and a bigger tower than you have too. It's becoming like keeping up with the Joneses, but in outer space. <laughs> Wait, trading. Yes, come over to me. I'll buy, um, I'll buy steel. I think I need that in order to go to another planet. So yeah, I'll take steel. And I was going to sell you clay, but, um... I'm just going to save myself the embarrassment. <laughs> Looking for steel and just giving him lumps of clay. They drove right past me. They didn't even say hello. They literally went right past me to the other empty planet. They're going straight into the sun. Well, you know what? You deserve it for not stopping by my planet. Oh my god, look at the amount of people he has. Okay, we got to get started here. <laughs> I'm glad I have a neighbor to kind of give me a kick up the ass and get started. All right, we have a problem in that all my clay places are kind of held up. They just have maximum clay. I don't have enough drones to move all this clay. I have so much clay and very little people or infrastructure whatsoever. We're going to be like a claymation planet. We're just going to make claymation a propaganda, essentially. They don't realize yet, but I'm aiming to be like God King of this planet. <laughs> that guy went all the way over there to visit Blue and didn't even stop by. Poor old me. They still really want a pub and clothes. They're not really happy until I give them that. <laughs> Maybe if you start cooperating, I'll give you clothes, huh, people? <laughs> We're starting to get clay in at 
a healthy pace now. We'll be colonizing the universe in no time. Even though I'm not sure it goes from, like, gathering clay to colonizing the universe. Not sure it's quite that easy of a step. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You see, it's already a bridge. It was a step. Now it's a bridge. It's escalating. Where's my power grid? I'm going to have a power grid so big, it's going to go all the way around the world and then meet each other <laughs> in the middle. Meanwhile, all my naked people are just watching behind me like, um, can we get some of that cotton though? Maybe at some point. <laughs> okay, now that the clay bricks are flowing in, we're going to just invite everyone over for a little party on planet Kevtopia. What? I didn't tell you that was the name? <laughs> can I actually change the name of Officially. I want to ease them into this process. <laughs> I can rename the city at least. Future City. Kevtopia. Yeah, they won't even know. I'll just change the signpost. It's nighttime. They won't even get it. And in the morning, they'll just be like, oh, maybe it was almost Kevtopia. <laughs> and I'll slowly inch my way towards being God King. All right, folks, I'm going to try and get your cotton, but not because you want it. I'm just kind of sick of looking at you. Oh, no, they need more power already. Okay, maybe I am actually going to go all the way around the earth. We're off to a bad start. We've already kind of gone off right. <laughs> it's not even straight and we just started this project. I should stop building at night, okay? I'll build over here for now. Oh, wait, I can build a pub now. This will make you happy or at least out of your senses so you won't revolt. And they're clothed. They're, they're having a great time. They're, they have clothes on. They're at the pub. <laughs> what more could you ask for? I set the bar really low intentionally, so now they're all just delighted with me. Unfortunately, that's kind of all we could do. Unless we want a clay fight. <laughs> just at the pub, like, clay fight! <laughs> Start throwing bricks around. I put a trade offer up, so I'm buying clay now as well. Just hopefully the trader will come visit us. I feel like I deserve it. I'm paying top dollar for both steel and bricks. Is there any way I could steal steel? Perhaps for my neighbor? Oh, good lord. Oh my god, look at their wind farm compared to mine. They have coal mines? Oh my lord, they're way ahead of me. They have a military score. They know Kevtopia is a peace-loving planet, right? We don't have a military. We don't have enough clothes. That's our main issue right now. I can't clothe all these people who are coming to live on this planet. I also can't power all these things on this planet. Oh no, we ended up going around in a circle. <laughs> Maybe we should have put down a bit of string or something. They're 100% happy. Then have 10 people. I want to upgrade. Oh, why are you leaving? Someone got naked and now everyone's unhappy. Oh, they're putting their clothes back on. It's going up. Come on, someone come by. I just have a colony of nudists. That's what I have. It's not my fault. The supply line is fine. Look at all this cotton. Maybe I need like a warehouse. Maybe they're just having struggle gathering all the cotton. That would make sense. Okay, yeah, now, now things are going a bit easier. <laughs> they're gathering all the cotton. Oh, Blue has already colonized another planet. An ice planet. That's so cool. <laughs> and I'm still here in my little village. I feel so lame compared to the other colonies colonizers. I can't even clothe my people. Okay, we got a developer's residence now. What's this? Research? Science? Or military? I'm gonna go with military. <laughs> I see the trader's back. Hopefully he'll stop by. Oh, wait, I'm only generating, like, a bit of research power. No military power. All right, well, that's worrying. I wanted guns. Oh, wait, better fabric. Yes, get better fabric. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> like, you'd think I'd give them one set of clothes and they'd be happy, but they need new clothes all the time. They're a growing population, which doesn't make sense, because I'm not even really feeding them. Speaking of feeding them, how are we doing on food? Oh, we're actually hanging in there. We got a lot of reserves. Nice. Now we can make iron mines. I don't know why I couldn't before. I'd like to think they just sent the village idiot and they gave a list of rules like, make sure the miners are clothed first. <laughs> and he was like, oh, that makes sense. And he just doesn't start mining for resources. We burn out there on that planet with nothing. Okay, the trader's on his way. Okay, trade me something, please. Oh, he's in my orbit. <laughs> Oh, you want to trade with me? <laughs> Act really shy, like waving at him. He just turns around and leaves. Do you even give me anything? I paid 36 credits. What did I buy? I bought a few clay bricks. I thought you'd... Okay. This guy just traveled across the solar system to make $36. <laughs> he's going to my neighbor. I bet he's trading him all the good stuff. Speaking of my neighbor, he just colonized the planet around me. They're definitely going to go to war with me. Now that I have coal, can I just make a coal power plant? I don't really mind pollution. I think it's like it, it adds character to a planet. So I'd like to do that, please. What do you guys want? You want hollow displays and a cinema. I just gave you vegetables and clothing. That, that's a bit of a jump for me. 
Ah, here's the slider. Okay, focus on military. <laughs> One extreme to the other. We went for a peace-loving nation to <laughs> arming ourselves. And there's an enemy approaching. And he's a bit weak. Why is he a bit weak? What's he been up to? They're still at war, so maybe they're fighting. That, that has gone on for centuries. So long at this point, they don't even remember why they started. It was just a cash injection from me. I guess that's the next planet that I can go to. But I need steel, and I don't have it yet. They're so far ahead of me. Iron smeltery. That's what I need, right? Oh no, I need a lot of power for that though. Where's my wind farm? As long as I can harness the wind for a little bit more, then I can go back to destroying the environment. Well, I can begin. I guess I say go back because I guess we came from Earth because we've destroyed it in a similar sense. <laughs> and now we'll go back to normal soon. Oh, I think I can build it now. Yes, I just need 10 clay bricks. 10 clay bricks. And we got a new coal power plant right in the center of the city, despite having all this space to build it. Destroyed wreck moving into position to get some cargo. Give me 10 steel and all of your bricks. Give me some of that too. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna go colonize a new planet. Cause frankly, I don't have high hopes for this one. Y'all don't take pollution seriously enough. <laughs> I just leave. There we go. We're heading out. I hope they don't intercept me or anything. I have one ship and I'm sending it out to colonize. It's called Destroyed Wreck though, so we should be covered. Small space shipyard. Oh, that's cool. Let's build more ships. Cargo, a fighter, a falcon. Oh, this is what we want. We can just take over the neighbors. <laughs> Who cares about colonizing? We're, well, no, actually, yes, we'll still be colonizing, but in a more brutal way. Oh, we got gems here and everything. I don't know what I'll do with them, but yes, let's settle down. Down. Blue was on his way here, like only a little bit away. So I'm curious if he was coming out here. Uh oh, um, I, I gotta destroy your house. I'm so sorry. I didn't bring enough supplies to build it. Actually, I gotta delete a few of your houses. I'm so sorry about the inconvenience. This is entirely my fault. I'm sorry. There we go. Now you can smelt bricks. And I brought you a load of clay. <laughs> See, I'm not so bad after all. Well, there's a lot of clay deposits here. Excellent. More clay. Maybe I'll build a little cargo ship. Does that make sense? I guess it makes sense. And now, Time for overpopulation. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Your planet's about to get a whole lot worse. I think that'll just be kind of the history as we read about this planet. It'll be... <laughs> and then it got worse. <laughs> that'll be the start of every chapter. The construction finished already? Oh, that was fast. This is called the destination. No, I'm going to call it where I keep my shit. <laughs> and it's just going to transport cargo around for me. How is this planet doing? And this is going to get a lot more confusing, isn't it? <laughs> I think I will just go to war with my enemies at this point. Well, with my enemies, with my neighbor. Same thing. Oh, I can see a list of my spaceships. So we got destroyed wreck and where I keep my shit. And then we've got Kevtopia and Nebula. What a weird name for a planet. Who would name a planet Nebula? I'm going to call this one Kevopolis. I think that's a much better name for a planet. Nice. Well, that ship arrived. So now we're just going to pick up some of that and get it out of here. <laughs> What's this? Is that a space pirate? That is a pirate spaceship. Okay, we're going to stay away from that. Destroyed wreck. I choose you. Go colonize that planet. Oh, damn. Damn, there are space pirates heading right towards me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What do I do? <laughs> and why am I only talking instead of acting? I got something here. Orbital flak. Why can I not build it? Oh, I need guns and clay, which I've given to my other planet. God damn it. The pirates are surrounding my planet. What do I do? Are, are they pirates to planets as well? I thought they'd just go after ships. Is there not some sort of space pirate code, perhaps? Oh my god, the trader just pulls in. <laughs> do you not see what's going on around you, man? Okay, what do I want to buy. I think I'll just buy guns in future. <laughs> I'm willing to buy as much guns as you're willing to give me. New spaceship unlock. The fighter. Ooh, I could use that. We just need to make some guns. I should probably add to this place. I've not given them any food. Yeah, they have no food whatsoever. No food, no clothes, no booze. <laughs> They're not gonna be happy with that. Is this place even fertile? Can we make food here? Oh, okay, good. We can. I didn't think that much ahead. <laughs> They're starting to be like, hmm, should we really keep listening to this guy? Gun factory. Yes, I can finally build it. My people are all like, um, what are these? <laughs> what are we going to be using these for? <laughs> so can I make a trade route? Create trade route. Oh, sorry. This isn't my strong suit. I just made a trade route between Kevopolis and Kevopolis and they're trading. <laughs> Where's my other spaceship? Is it here yet? Is destroyed wreck here? It is. I want to colonize another planet, even though I said I wouldn't. It's just free real estate, okay? And then look who I've got <laughs> in my triangle of death with green right in here. I want this planet. <laughs> God 
damn it. Oh no, these people have no clay out here. You can't get clay on this planet. That is trouble. So I think this is just going to be like a, a work planet. People get banished out here. <laughs> New law. If I don't like you, I banish you to the ice planet on the edge of the solar system where you just have to work for the rest of your life. Okay, how about this? You make your own bricks though. We just send you the clay and then you do the rest. Now I actually do need a trade route. I need to figure that out. This is Keviton. <laughs> this is basically prison. <laughs> and the iron uh, mine is on the other side of the planet, by the way. Don't ask why I didn't build the town near the mines, all right? You're not allowed. That's a law on this planet. No questions. Unless they somehow compliment me. Oh, what is going on here? There's a, a blue ship orbiting a green planet. Are they still at war? Yes, they are. <laughs> They're fighting each other. <laughs> They're like, oh, this feud of ours goes back generations. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah. Wow, I, I bet you guys will never get over it. <laughs> Okay, Kevtopia was the first one, wasn't it? Yes, this is going to get very confusing. Okay, so Kevopolis gives clay, and in return, Keviton sends back coal, iron, and copper. Seems fair. And I'll send where I keep my shit to do the work. That should do it. Now I just got to keep an eye out for space pirates, unfortunately. But yeah, I think my cargo ship is going. That's so cool. Where I keep my shit, just flying off there into space. <laughs> I think I'm going to bring Destroyed Wreck back to the home planet. It's not really safe out there. It has no defenses. Speaking of defenses, I'm going to buy some defenses. I think I can also send clay from here. They've got a lot, but we'll see. I'm just about to start aggressively expanding here. And of course, that includes a lot of pollution. So three, not four coal plants will get built immediately. They're like, oh no, he's back. <laughs> I built another two uh, just to let them know full sure that I am indeed back and to start behaving. Orbital flak. There we go. Now we've got some defenses up. No one can attack us. Well, they can, but hopefully they they'll die. I don't know what these are. I'm making some like juices for <laughs> for my military men. They want juice. I don't know why. I was very high on their list. We definitely need to smelt more as well. That's the problem. We have too much clay and not enough bricks. I don't like the green is hanging around my planets. Maybe he's just looking for blue though. His name is Star Hunter. What a lame name for a spaceship. Oh god, there they are fighting. <laughs> this has been the best couple of thousand I've spent in the entire game. <laughs> Speaking of money, my money is deteriorating really rapidly. I gotta fix this. I'm pretty sure in order to make money, all you need is more workers. Come on, fellas. Come in here and pay me some taxes. I've got plenty of infrastructure for you all, I assume. Now move into that jungle. Just gonna keep placing houses till I'm making profit. <laughs> ah, we're running out of food. Yes, that is a problem. But <laughs> with aggressive expansion. Yes, indeed. How about instead of guessing, I see what they actually want. Okay, we're very low on food. We've loads of clothes. We don't need to worry about clothes anymore. Perhaps a warehouse would solve a lot of the issues issues I'm having here, and I'll just put loads more food down. Okay, we're getting a slight surplus on food now. It's building. I'll leave it build, and then, you know what? No, actually, I, I don't want to wait. I hate waiting. It's one of my least favorite things. So I'm just going to start expanding now again <laughs> without thinking about the consequences too much. All right, let's check in on Ice Planet and see if we have enough to put them to work. Where is all the cargo? Have they been using it all? Ha you're not carrying anything, man. You're just supposed to be shipping things between them, <laughs> not just just like ferrying people to and from. This is a prison for God's sake. Oh no, I said the, the, the quiet part out loud right next to them. This colony, on the other hand, has too many <laughs> clay bricks. Okay, maybe we can just expand this aggressively and they'll help us out in another way. Look at him. He's not taking anything. Get back here, mister. <laughs> Take all of those clay bricks and get out of here. How are our guns looking? Do we have enough guns yet? Okay, we got a lot of guns. It's time to make a lot of fighters. <laughs> My warmongering ways are about to be seen out in the open. And, oh, you'll rue the day you ever move next door to me. Oh, wait, one second. Uh, bitterly regret something one has done or allowed to happen and wish it undone. Yeah, you'll rue the day. Can you stop fighting each other near my planet? We're a peace-loving nation. Okay, just a full ship of clay heading out to prison planet. Every now and again, I just come back here and just throw down a load of housing without thinking about their needs. All I'm thinking about is their taxes. Their sweet, sweet taxes. Military score 59. Have you got any guns? Guns here? <laughs> Just checking if you've any guns, neighborino. I built them two new gun factories. I'm assuming that's what the people want, really. I didn't ask them, but it's more of a body language thing. It's starting to get pretty dense here now. <laughs> I hope you still all have enough clothes.
loads down there. I'm very impressed when I'm playing this game because this is a free game, as I said. And like all of the reviews, people were complaining about random stuff here and there, mostly positive. But every now and then a complaint. And that thing is now in the game. Obviously, they're listening to these reviewers. Like one of the main, most helpful negative reviews here. Cool game, has potential, but there's zero tool tips on anything. But now there is a tutorial. Sure, I skipped it, but there is one. But most of them are just like, WTF, how is the free? It's a free game that feels more complete than most games made by large companies. And Frank here is saying no one reads the reviews, so I'll write that I am gay. Oh. Uh, sorry, Frank. Um... But yeah, good game. I'm making juice for my people now. That's what the people want. Oh, well, they are losing their clothes. Oh, because they're spilling juice on them. Oh, that's a problem. I forgot I have other planets. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Are you still alive? Oh, yes, they need steel. I forgot about that. I saw it and went, oh, that's a problem I need to fix. And then just went and did something else because it seemed too hard. But here, if you give them all the clay and then they make it into bricks, I'm sure they can give you some. Look, they've loads of iron and coal. All right, I'll take some supplies over and just destroyed wreck to the peasants over on planet two. I've built some orbital flax around here. Um, new diplomatic status. What could this mean? Coincidentally enough, blue just declared war on me, but that's fine because I was just going to declare war on them. I was just going to say, I'm going to build up some defenses, let them bring their ships to me and I'll destroy them. The only issue is I have no defenses on my other planets, but I'm sure they won't even know about them. Their intel is probably old and I have a fighter fleet now. <laughs> I have four ships here. I'm about to set out. Kill this guy. Kill him. <laughs> Kill. He's going halfway across the solar system. Is he going to my other planet? That's all that's out there. <laughs> yeah, he is here just to attack this ice prison. <laughs> they already have it hard enough. Go away from where I keep my shit. Okay, you gotta flee, dude. Stop being brave. Go. No, stop being stupid is what I should say. Get out of here. Yes, my fighters got here just in time to kill him. Ooh, that was close. Oh my god, there are more ships on the way. Well, luckily, my, my whole fleet is still here, waiting. In fact, I might go intercept them. Never mind, he's already here. Okay, fellas, sink him. Please, before he gets my cargo. That's where I keep my shit. Nice, they're shredding him. Okay, great. You came across the entire solar system for this? Okay, good, he's breaking up. Wait, they just colonized this planet. I will not stand for this. I'm the only one allowed to have a useless hunk of ice out here. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what am I getting hit by? What am I getting hit by? What is this? It's a spaceport. It has some sort of defense on it, I think. Spaceship destroyed? How did they get me? What are they hitting me with? Well, there's a cargo ship on the way. I'll take him out. Is this blue? I'm assuming this is blue and I'm attacking it. No, I lost another <laughs> spaceship. And another one. This isn't going too good. Oh my good lord, he just took out my whole fleet with that one thing. Oh no, <laughs> who have I picked to fight with? I have no defenses for this planet now, but that's okay. Everything is fine. Everything is working out just as I intended it to work out as. Please tell me you've more clay. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, all part of the plan. Yeah, I knew that. Don't worry. Oh no, where are you attacking me now? Go away. <laughs> We're undefended. I mean, we've got you surrounded. Back out while you still can. Oh, that's where I keep my shit, man. Don't destroy that. Oh, it's got a sliver of health. No, he was just entering that. Uh, he's gone. <laughs> that was where I kept my shit. <laughs> well, the good news is we offloaded all the clay before it died, and it's kind of self-sufficient here, I think. Still kind of useless, though, because at the other end of the solar system, surrounded by my enemy. But oh well, I'll call that a success, and I'll leave them do their own thing from now on. I'm giving them their freedom. <laughs> Where's destroyed wreck? Is it still alive? <laughs> That's where I am, right? <laughs> okay, I can't die. Well, I can die and that's the problem. I, I just don't want to die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's that? Flee immediately. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> There's a planet where I can live. I'll live in self-exile. I don't mind. I'm fleeing. I'm fleeing my planets. All the colonists looking up like, is that our god king? Where do you think he's going? I'll just leave a note on the table saying I'm, saying I'm going out for a pack of smokes and I'll be right back. The ice planet is actually self-sufficient, but can never advance or defend themselves because they have no access to clay. The sand planet is in a similar situation, except it has the basics to kind of do okay, maybe. It's kind of a wasteland. Earth 2.0 is, well, Earth 2.0. It's insanely polluted because of all the coal burning, but it's very profitable. And there's a struggle to just clothe and feed our people. So yeah, Earth 2.0. And here I am in self-imposed exile, living on the far outskirts of the solar system on this useless husk of an ice planet. What a happy ending. I really hope you liked that game. I thought it was a really cool game. Thought I'd show it to you. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.